diamonds. They're objects of desire, symbols of love, and feats of nature. For centuries these precious stones have been cherished for their beauty and rarity. They adorn the crowns of royalty, the fingers of lovers, and the necks of the wealthy. But beyond their aesthetic appeal, diamonds have a story that begins deep within the earth. Forged in the heart of our planet under unimaginable pressure and heat, diamonds are born from carbon atoms that crystallize over millions of years. This natural process occurs about 100 miles beneath the Earth's surface, where temperatures soar to over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. When volcanic eruptions bring these gems closer to the surface, they become accessible to us. These sparkling wonders have captivated us for centuries. From ancient civilizations to modern times, diamonds have been symbols of power, wealth, and eternal love. Their unmatched hardness and brilliance make them unique among gemstones, and their journey from deep within the earth to the jewelry store is nothing short of miraculous. But what if we could create diamonds, not in the earth's fiery depths, but in a laboratory, at room temperature? Imagine a world where the creation of diamonds is no longer bound by the constraints of nature. This idea, once the realm of science fiction, is now becoming a reality. What if the impossible was suddenly within reach? This isn't science fiction, it's the groundbreaking reality, unveiled by a team of researchers led by Dr. Rodney Ruoff. Their innovative approach has turned the dream of lab-grown diamonds into a tangible achievement. It's the groundbreaking reality unveiled by a team of researchers led by Dr. Rodney Ruoff. Their revolutionary technique allows us to grow diamonds in conditions that mimic a gentle spring day. By using a method known as chemical vapor deposition, they can create diamonds at room temperature, bypassing the need for extreme heat and pressure. Their revolutionary technique allows us to grow diamonds in conditions that mimic a gentle spring day. This process involves placing a carbon-rich gas in a chamber and using a plasma to break down the gas molecules, allowing carbon atoms to deposit onto a substrate and form a diamond. The result is a diamond that is virtually indistinguishable from one formed in nature. This discovery has sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community and beyond. The implications of this breakthrough are vast, opening up new possibilities for industries ranging from electronics to medicine. Lab-grown diamonds could revolutionize technology, making advanced devices more efficient and durable, hinting at a future where diamonds are no longer a rare treasure, but a material with limitless potential. Imagine a world where diamonds are used in everyday applications, from cutting-edge electronics to advanced medical equipment. The possibilities are endless, and the future of diamonds is brighter than ever. To understand the magnitude of this breakthrough, we must first journey to the fiery heart of our planet, where diamonds are born. This journey takes us deep beneath the Earth's surface, to a place that is both mysterious and awe-inspiring. Deep within the Earth's mantle, hundreds of kilometers beneath our feet lies a realm of immense pressure and scorching heat. Here temperatures soar to over 1,000 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is more than 50,000 times that of the Earth's surface. It's an environment so extreme that it can transform simple carbon into one of the hardest substances known to man. It's a place where carbon atoms, squeezed under the weight of the world, bond together in a unique tetrahedral structure. This process, known as crystallization, occurs over millions of years. The carbon atoms align in a way that creates a lattice, a repeating pattern that is both incredibly strong and remarkably beautiful. This structure, forged over billions of years, gives diamonds their legendary hardness and brilliance. Each diamond is a testament to the incredible forces and time required to create it. The result is a gemstone that is not only stunning to look at, but also incredibly durable. These diamonds, formed in the planet's crucible, are then carried to the surface by volcanic eruptions. The violent eruptions act as a natural elevator, transporting the diamonds from the depths of the earth to the surface. This journey can take millions of years, and the diamonds often travel through volcanic pipes, which are channels of magma that cut through the earth's crust. They're remnants of a time when earth was young and restless, a testament to the immense forces at play beneath our feet. During the early days of our planet, Volcanic activity was much more common, and it played a crucial role in bringing these precious gems to the surface. The landscape of ancient Earth was shaped by these powerful forces, creating the conditions necessary for diamond formation. For centuries, these diamonds have been prized for their beauty and rarity. They have adorned the crowns of kings and queens, been the centerpiece of countless pieces of jewelry, and have even been used in industrial applications due to their unmatched hardness. 
the allure of diamonds has captivated humanity for generations, making them one of the most sought-after gemstones in the world. However, their creation in nature is a slow and chaotic process, leaving us at the mercy of geological time. The formation of diamonds is a testament to the patience and power of nature. It reminds us that some of the most beautiful and valuable things in life are worth waiting for, and that the forces of nature are capable of creating wonders beyond our imagination. The quest to create diamonds in the lab has been driven by a desire to harness their remarkable properties. For decades, scientists have attempted to replicate the extreme conditions of the Earth's mantle. Two main methods emerged, high pressure slash high temperature or HPHT and chemical vapor deposition or CVD. HPHT mimics the Earth's pressure cooker, squeezing carbon at immense temperatures and pressures. CVD, on the other hand, uses a gas phase process, depositing diamond layers onto a substrate. While these methods have been successful in producing synthetic diamonds, they are energy intensive, expensive, and limited in their ability to create large, high quality diamonds. Section 4. A Revolutionary Approach Dr. Ruoff and the Gallium Breakthrough. Enter Dr. Rodney Ruoff, a material scientist with a passion for pushing boundaries. Dr. Ruoff and his team at the Center for Multidimensional Carbon Materials, within the Institute for Basic Science located at UNIST, set out to explore an entirely new approach to diamond synthesis. Their focus, a silvery white metal called gallium. Gallium is a peculiar element. It has an unusually low melting point, becoming liquid at just above room temperature. More importantly, gallium has a unique ability to dissolve carbon. Dr. Ruoff theorized that this property could be the key to growing diamonds, under more manageable conditions. Section 5. The Science of Room Temperature Diamonds, A New Age of Crystallization. In this chapter, we delve into the revolutionary advancements that have redefined how we perceive and create diamonds. No longer confined to the depths of the earth or the intense heat of industrial processes, diamonds can now be grown in a laboratory setting, at room temperature. The process begins with a seed of diamond, a tiny crystal that acts as a template for growth. This seed is meticulously prepared and handled with precision, as it forms the foundation upon which the new diamond will grow. This seed is placed in a chamber with gallium saturated with carbon. Gallium, a unique metal, plays a crucial role in this process. It is chosen for its ability to dissolve carbon at relatively low temperatures, making it an ideal medium for diamond growth. The chamber is then subjected to moderate pressure, far less than that required for traditional methods. This reduction in pressure not only makes the process more energy efficient, but also significantly safer and more accessible for widespread use. The magic happens as the gallium, acting as a catalyst, dissolves the carbon. This dissolution is a critical step as it allows the carbon atoms to become mobile and ready to form new bonds. This dissolved carbon then migrates to the diamond seed gradually building up the crystal lattice, atom by atom. The process is slow and meticulous, ensuring that each carbon atom finds its perfect place in the growing structure. The result, a diamond grown not in a fiery inferno, but in a controlled environment, at room temperature. This method not only replicates the natural beauty and hardness of diamonds, but does so with a fraction of the environmental impact. This breakthrough has shattered our preconceived notions about diamond creation. It challenges the traditional belief that diamonds can only form under extreme conditions, opening up new possibilities for innovation and application. It opens up a world where diamonds, once a symbol of rarity, could become as commonplace as silicon, the backbone of our digital age. Imagine a future where diamonds are not just for jewelry, but are integral components in electronics, medical devices, and even quantum computing. This new age of crystallization is just the beginning of a transformative journey, redefining what is possible with one of nature's most coveted materials.